How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I wanted to bring you guys a quick beginner's guide to VPNs and how to use a VPN. So it's a very simple process. By the way, I'll talk about these VPNs a little bit later. Uh, these are the best three VPNs overall, but let's just start with how to use a VPN in the first place. Now, first you want to download and install a good VPN. Now you can choose one of these VPNs depending on your preferences. Uh, you'll find links to the pricing and special discounts in the description down below. You'll be able to save a little bit more on your subscription. Once you purchase your plan, you can download and install the VPN, sign in with your credentials, and here you will have one of these VPNs depending on what you chose. So let's go with ExpressVPN. Once you've downloaded the VPN, you can simply choose the country that you uh, want to connect to and you can go to locations here as you can tell each vpn has uh, its own sort of user interface and they're all very straightforward um, the one thing you want to know is uh, each vpn has a different set of features and we'll talk about that in just a minute but basically all you need to do is make sure that you know what the settings are for really for the most part the thing you want to make sure is on is the kill switch if you want your internet connection to get completely disconnected in case the vpn disconnects unexpectedly making sure that you avoid any unexpected leaks so you can turn on the um, network clock or the kill switch split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the vpn and which are not so let's say you want the rest of your connection to not use the vpn except for these two applications or the other way around you can do that it's a very useful feature and you want to make sure you're using the fastest protocol you can set it to automatic that works perfectly fine i just like to use the fastest protocol in this case it'll be lightweight udp and that's pretty much it with ExpressVPN. It's a very simple VPN to use. Now we can go to locations and just, uh, you know, let's just pick one right here. Let's just go with Dallas, for example. It's already um, chosen here. And you can go to any IP finder and make sure that you are connected to the VPN. And as you can tell right here, it shows that I am in Dallas. If I want to change locations, I can go to uh, locations again. Actually, let's go ahead and just uh, use NordVPN just for the sake of demonstration. And we'll connect to Switzerland, for example. In this case, I'll just connect um, by clicking on Switzerland on the map, or I can bring up the list right here and pick it from here. Now that I'm connected to Switzerland, give it a refresh, checking on my uh, IP finder, and it says that I am now in Switzerland. And it's as simple as that with regards to using a VPN. But how do you know which one is the best choice for you personally? And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN next up is NordVPN and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN it has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a VPN for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blocks ads malware ridden websites as well as protect your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature and so nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as expressvpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to expressvpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then 
then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, whether it's Express, Nord, or Surfshark, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. And they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.